So there's this idea that when you get on keto, when you do fasting, it's going to damage your kidney. You may have seen this around uh, in various articles. It's completely the opposite. Okay. So the opposite is true. Doing keto and fasting will greatly help the kidney function better. I found an interesting study that um, fasting slows down polycystic kidney disease. Okay. In fact, there was a rapid reduction of cyst volume. That's incredible. As well as they found ketones inhibit uh, polycystic kidney disease, which is huge. Okay. Another study that showed that the ketogenic diet reversed diabetic nephropathy. That's different than a neuropathy. This is a nephropathy, okay, involving the kidney, improves kidney disease. All right, that's huge. I'm gonna put these links down below. Next point I wanna bring up is acid. People think that because there's a condition called ketoacidosis, which by the way, is very rare, and it only occurs if you have diabetes type one and you forget to take your insulin, but it's not gonna occur for anyone else. So because the word keto is in ketoacidosis, they're like, oh my gosh, it's gonna damage my kidney. No, it's not. Okay, so now let's talk about kidney stones. There are those people that are prone to kidney stones and um, they need to be aware of a couple of things. Number one, when you eat certain foods um, that are high in oxalates, like spinach, for example, and almonds, for example. And of course, chocolate, of course, when you're on keto, you're gonna do sugar-free, but still chocolate has high oxalates. There's a potential for stones. Now I will recommend if you do have a tendency to get stones, of course, just don't eat those foods, okay? Very simple. The other way to prevent stones is to consume enough fluid. If you're consuming two and a half liters of fluid every single day, it's going to be next to impossible to get a stone because the stone is formed by a super concentrated situation. And if you're having enough fluid through your body, it can never get that concentrated to form a stone. Also, if you're consuming lemon juice on a regular basis, the citrates will help to decrease the formation of that oxalate stone. All right, next point, gout. It is true that when you fast, you increase your uric acid levels for a period of time. But once you're fully adapted, those uric acid levels go down. Why does it do that? Because uric acid is a very powerful antioxidant. So it's just part of the healing process. And so some people notice a temporary spike in their gout symptoms. But usually gout has to do with the inability for the kidney to eliminate uric acid versus some type of dietary thing that's spiking the uric acid. But if you're consuming uh, potassium citrate, for example, as your electrolyte, that's gonna help curb the pH and lower the risk of getting gout symptoms. And so let's look at the macros. Does low carb worsen the kidney? No, high carb worsens the kidney. What happens with a diabetic? Well, they get kidney disease. There's four tissues that are affected when you're diabetic and you have higher levels of carbohydrate in your diet, the kidney, the brain, the nervous system, the heart, and the eye. So low carb diet is very healthy for the kidney. Now, what about moderate protein? Sometimes people think that keto is high protein. No, it's not. It's a moderate amount of protein. And even if it was high protein, there is no studies that prove a high protein diet is harmful to the kidney or at least a healthy kidney because there are a lot of harmful things to a diseased kidney that is a whole different subject. Now, what about a high fat diet? Is that harmful to a kidney? No, not if you're doing healthy uh, fats. Now, as far as protein goes as well, when you're on a healthy version of keto, you're not doing processed meats. You're doing grass-fed beef. You're doing uh, wild-caught fish. There's absolutely zero studies out there that shows that consuming grass-fed beef is harmful in any way to your body. Doing the healthy version of ketogenic diet, you're consuming foods high in potassium that's very protective against kidney problems. 
It's also good to keep your blood pressure in check. High blood pressure is what really messes with the kidney. But if you're consuming foods high in potassium and you're consuming foods low in insulin and you're taking your vitamin D, you should be able to keep your blood pressure in check. Now, is fasting healthy for the kidney? It absolutely is. And I'm gonna put the link down below of what it can do for polycystic kidney disease in general. It can help slow that disorder. In fact, fasting stimulates autophagy, which is extremely helpful to your body and the kidney because it's all about recycling and rejuvenation. 